Hello and welcome to Feathercast. Today I am talking with Dmitry Pavlov, who is the PMC chair of the Apache Ignite project. Thank you so much for being with us today. Hi, and thank you for having me. So let's start with the project itself. Um, looking at the website and uh, looking at my notes here, it says that Apache Ignite is horizontally scalable, fault tolerant, distributed in memory computing platform for building real time applications that can process terabytes of data with in memory speed. So that is a lot. And for those of us that are not in this in this uh, domain space, please tell us what this means. What what does Ignite actually do? And uh, yeah, who would use this? Yeah, thank you. Uh, actually, Ignite is in memory caching platform, so, so you are able to store your data to put data, get query uh, from this distributed storage. Uh, it is also processing platform, so you can just uh, send your code to the data and do uh, any transformations you want using computations uh, capabilities of servers. And uh, finally, it is database. You can configure it to persist your data on local nodes uh, storage using disk or flash memory. Give an example of, of typical use cases. How how would people actually use this in practice? Uh, Apache Ignite is often used it as uh, to accelerate uh, classic applications of so to cache some hot data. In that case, Apache Ignite is configured as a memory cache or data grid, and that mm -hmm. writes. Uh, eventually all change to some primary storage. It is also often used as data meeting point as, as some integration hub, then data from different backends and uh, systems is gathered, processed, and uh, in that case, Apache Ignite is usually configured uh, as database for the sake of durability. What would be a, a typical business case for this? And uh, you know, maybe give us an example of somebody that's actually using this in, in the real world. Actually, it could be just anything. For example, Apache Ignite is used by Dutch railways to prevent hazards. Uh, it is used to cal cal calculate and check trains' movement plan across the network to be sure this plan, yeah, uh, to be sure this plan is safe and operable. It is uh, used also in genome sequencing. Uh, for bioinformatics projects, it is also popular for financial services and retail bankings. What's behind the scenes? What's the what's the technology behind Ignite? What uh, programming language is it in, and what what's the architecture like? Uh, the main core of Apache Ignite is written on Java. Actually, it has a lot of uh, different clients for, for example, .NET for other languages. Uh, but main core still in, uh, use, use Java. Actually, all internal data structures is uh, managed in unsafe memory, uh, unmanaged memory of Java process. So there, there is uh, no problem of uh, garbage collection. I was wondering if you could tell us what the origin of, of the name is. How did, how did you come up with this name for the project? Actually, there was a brainstorm during the incubation period uh, to pick up the name, and Apache Ignite name managed to meet all trademark requirements. So nothing special here, but still it is easy to remember. Apache Ignite is used is use to cache hot data. The project has been at the Apache Software Foundation, uh, graduated about five years ago. What are the origins of the project? Where was it? before then? Apache Ignite was donated uh, by Grid Gain Company uh, to the Apache Software Foundation, and uh, it was developed uh, for a decade, I, I guess, before entering Apache. Where does your community gather? Where do I come to talk to you? Mm, actually, we constantly evolve here. We try something new, just like Discord, voice chat, uh, online meetups, um, webinars, and so on. Uh, but still, the one thing is constant. The better way to get in touch with community is to, is to say hi to dev or user mailing list. I was looking at the uh, projects.apache.org uh, page on your project. And uh, one thing that struck me was that uh, the majority of the names in the, in the project uh, 
developer list uh, strike me as of of Slavic origin. I was wondering if if uh, your users tend to be from a particular part of the world, or it's just your your developers. Yeah, but definitely could improve diversity wise. Uh, if you send some email to the dev list, uh, usually uh, by occasion Russian, you will definitely get an answer. We still use in English and, and encourage everyone to do so. But I do believe that multicultural, multicultural influence and different experiences could benefit a community of developer, uh, developers. Speaking about users, they, uh, they are from all over the globe. So it is a diverse community. So that brings me to another question. Um, what sort of development opportunities are there? What is happening in the project that somebody might want to get involved with? Yeah. By the way, you 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 definitely not uh, you don't uh, you definitely don't need to be a da database internal expert to join. The major event was release uh, of two point eight. It was released in March. Regarding activity, there, for example, is a brilliant idea of implementing a Spring Boot uh, starter for the project. There are a couple of more active discussions about modularization to decouple, about public and internal classes, and so on. Uh, you can definitely join to integrations, which is usually developed on best effort uh, principle. How do you work in your community to ensure that you don't end up with a particular company or companies uh, taking over the direction of development? First of all, we maintain the dev list as the only place the decisions are being made. And there are uh, there are a couple companies uh, whose employees uh, are taking part in the community still uh, as individuals, and uh, PMC members are constantly keeping an, an eye to prevent overly strong influence uh, from commercial companies. Luckily, we are still able to handle all, all escalations inside the PMC. And uh, finally, if I want to learn more about your project, where are the best sources of information? As a good starting point, I would recommend to check out Ignite website, ignite.apache.org. It contains links to almost uh, all information related, wiki for internals, um, readme docs for users, um, training Apache Ignite book and YouTube videos with live coding sessions, uh, talks related to Ignite, so check that out. All right, thank you again so much for your time. Uh, if, you're, if you're listening, I also encourage you to read uh, Dimitri's recent blog post on the Success at Apache series on the Apache blog, and I will link to that in the description down below. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, take care and ignite.